Hello, everyone. As we can see, there's I'm in a new light. Okay. So before we get into my Zola opinion, let me just share with you all a little bit of history about the festivities. Halloween was created all the way back when Moses split the ocean around 1773, which is around the same time that public influencer Duke Dennis was born. Okay. Halloween evolved from an ancient Celtic holiday of Sam Samhan. Samhain, a Gaelic word. I don't even know, bro. I ain't pagan. She, I, she, I'm hood. I'm from the streets. I'm from the streets. Over the centuries, Halloween transitioned from a pagan ritual to a day of parties, costumes, jack-o'-lanterns, and trick-or-treating for kids and adults. So Halloween went from a <laughs> ritual. Okay, so it went from a ritual per se to trick or treating. I don't know where trick or treats came from, but it is said that the origins of Halloween are often said to be satanic. <laughs> Shout out Doja Cat. As we were showed in certain cartoons and stuff, you know, those old cartoons that they be using in the in the Suicide Boys ghost main shit, you know, where the, where the ghost is pulling up his pants and Betty is bopping people. Betty is being a bop or boop. I don't even fucking remember. Dude. So it was basically right from what I'm seeing here, druids going around asking for children to sacrifice to their Lord of Darkness. It also says that the Bible scripture carefully instructs Christians against participation in pagan practices directly involving witchcraft, the occult or other worship of other deities. So does that mean that every Christian that is trick or treated is going to hell? But, but trick or treat is believed because trick or treat was not originally with Halloween. Trick or treat came very much later from the Canadians. Shout out girl with the dogs. Um, so trick or treat is believed to have originated in early 1920s in the Canadian province, provinces, provinces of Alberta and Swatskut. Chawan, Swatch Kachawan. I said that perfectly. And the earliest known use of the phrase was in 1927 from an Alberta newspaper article that reported on pranksters demanding a trick or a treat from houses. So one dude was all like, what if we went up to random people's doors and we asked them for a trick or a treat? And I'm not talking candy. So that's basically what happened. Cause who's gonna pull up and, and what? And, and then the dude, the people's houses that they went to, they were all like, I like that trick or treat has a nice ring to it. Hold on. I think I got some fucking beef sticks or say so y'all want some food. Y'all, they went back to the, 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 uh, the, 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 the sanction. I said though a couple times there, don't even worry about it, sweetheart. They went back to the sanction, the function. It was all like, y'all, we just pulled up to uh billy's crib he over here we we pulled up we was trying to prank him talking about some trick-or-treat at his door he opened the door he said i like that he gave us some treats we gotta go back we gotta do it to other houses all the other houses started uh, uh um coming together and giving these people treats and then it just it just evolved like a virus and i believe that is how we got to halloween and trick-or-treating now, it has been a long, long, long time since trick-or-treating and Halloween um, was created. Yes, we have not had a new holiday in a in a minute. <laughs> Actually, we haven't had a new holiday in a long time. So it's got me thinking, when is the next holiday and who's going to make it? It's going to be me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be called Bust That At. Even further the phrase trick-or-treating may have evolved from the tradition of going a souling and basically going a souling in this tradition is when children would visit neighbors doors during the festival of some hang some someone someone one i don't even offer to pray for the souls of their relatives 
in exchange for food and treats. So why is it called Halloween? Okay, so this is why it's called Halloween. We're learning a lot today. The name Halloween comes from the Scottish shortening of All Hallows Eve Day, which is the evening before the Christian holiday of All Saints Day. So it's the combination of the Scottish words hollow and een, kung fu sheen, which roughly translate to saint or holy person and evening. So Halloween essentially means the holy evening. Oh! So we've got people talking about Halloween. The name Halloween is the holy evening. And then you got people talking about how people was praying to get the souls of people and witches and demons and all that shit. I don't really know. I mean, I guess it's up to the person and how they grew up to it's a to, to judge Halloween. It's kind of weird how nowadays a lot of Christian people associate themselves within Halloween as it's become like more of a Christian belief and practice. Um, but its origins completely contradict that. And I'm, I'm a little confused as to who flipped the script here. I'm gonna share my old opinion on it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Halloween used to be my favorite holiday. I just loved the idea as a kid of growing up and dressing up as different th different things throughout the days, you know? I, I remember I had an alien, I would all, morph suits were my favorite. As I got older though, I couldn't just wear the morph suit. I had to put some shorts on because my dingling was just, you know what I'm saying? Just me being honest though. If you've worn a morph suit, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like when you got a hoodie with a zipper and that hump pull up, that's what it is. It's the same exact feeling. We had parties. I remember I used to dress up with all my friends. We used to go trick or treating for a little bit. It was so enjoyable until you know, kids really stopped going outside and then people started getting weird, especially after COVID. That was just it. It cut Halloween, cut Halloween off. Nobody, nobody, um, whatchamacallit, nobody came back from that. People don't trick or treat anymore like they used to. And everyone knows this. Like it's, it's widely known that in Halloween, there's only like a, a very small amount of people who are out here trick or treating still. Before then it was already on the, on the drop, you know? If you, if we look up Google trends every October, you know what I'm saying? Every October, Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. And as, as we see the graph just gets lower and lower and lower and lower and lower as the, as the past couple of years have been from 2020 to 2024. And people are starting to search for it a lot more because Halloween is coming up, but we can see that this spike that we normally get every year keeps getting lower. So it's evident that Halloween is dying. We must save Halloween. Shave Halloween. They need to make like a DreamWorks movie. They need to bring back that, that skinny ass skeleton that should be, be playing basketball. And, and we gotta get him to save Halloween. You know what I'm saying? They gotta go through a whole thing where some evil people like Team Rocket from Pokemon is trying to take Halloween and take all the candy from the kids, but only, only Jack Skeleton can come through and hit him with that you know what I'm saying? And there are a lot of reasons as to why Halloween would be been been up on a block in a minute. I don't know why that turned on, um, but I guess we just needed that, right? Uh, I, I switched tabs and I forgot that I had I had played. I had played it. <clears throat> Where was I at? There are a lot of valid reasons as to why Halloween is no longer in session and people no longer want to sit here and let their kids go out and trick or treat. When it came to parents and letting their kids go out and accept food, snacks, candy, whatever it may be from random strangers they've never met in their life, regardless on if they are their direct neighbors or their a couple of houses away. There's always been speculations and possibilities. And, and sometimes parents would have to, you know, get their kid to come back home, check all the candy, make sure everything is good. And then evidently find out that somebody has stuck a whole entire razor blade inside of a Tootsie Roll. You know, how many licks does it take to cut off your tongue at that point? It's just unfortunate that there are always weird people on planet Earth that have to end up ruining these holidays and uh, festivities for everybody. But there, it's not really something that we can avoid. Um, parents just don't really know how to raise their children correctly um, a lot of the time. That's the first reason. There's always been speculation. Second reason is it's dangerous. Okay. And this is also, I mean, all of these reasons are tied together because it makes less and less sense the more you think about 
about how safe and how fun Halloween is. Of course, Halloween has its fun aspects, but then you think about how dangerous it is. And I know there's parents that do this and that parents that don't do this at all. I would never let my kid just go out and trick or treat without me and scoping in that motherfucker with the telescopes the binoculars zooming in 30 times zoom because you don't know where they going and there's a lot of pa parents and people who just let their kids go free goodbye jonathan they end up getting snatched up in front of that you want some candy little boy come inside and then the the, the kid come inside their house next thing you know fucking uh phil who's 56 years old working as a, a tech consultant is going to be coming inside your <laughs> it's terrible that these things happen you know there's been countless amounts of children going missing especially like just just think about it just look at it from an outside perspective kids dressing up first of all so you can't even like when you call the police hey my kid's gone missing it's halloween the police are all like oh shit there's kids everywhere right now where's your kid what did he look like this motherfucker was dressed up as shrek all officers were on the lookout for Shrek. <laughs> He's not getting found, bro. He's not getting found. And that's what's crazy. That's what's crazy dangerous about it, bro. Because you got these people. My fault. This isn't funny. This is terrible. This is why I'm talking about it, though. Because it's, it's real. You know, Halloween is extremely dangerous, which is why a lot of people don't do it because you can get uh, your kids can get roofied. Uh, your kids can get snatched up. Your kids can get hurt. You know, your kids can get me. It's just all sorts of danger compared to your kids staying inside and sipping on hot chocolate and eating gingerbread cookies and waiting for a big fat man to slide down your chimney and give you presents. Halloween is a lot more dangerous. And then there's all this blood gore and dressing up and shit. I mean, honestly, for me personally, I'm obsessed with that type of shit. But for kids, for children and for people getting scared on top of all of it and all this demon shit, this is like all terrible worlds combined this is a serial killer's dream here halloween you can get roofy you can get kidnapped there's demons you dress the kids are dressed up in a way so you can't even identify them you know what i'm saying you're giving can't uh kids are taking food from strangers and then then they end up getting drugged and then taken off somewhere does nobody has nobody thought about this and i guess people are really starting to realize with how dangerous it is out here nowadays Halloween is just completely stupid. It's just not a smart thing to do unless you're really supervising your kids and you're like in that motherfucker like a lab like with the little uh piper dropping water droplets and shit to test each and each and every individual Jolly Rancher that the, the kid has in their pillowcase, bro. It's so sad how times have changed. Halloween used to be good and uh, there have been times where I've got a lot of candy from and then you get cavities. Dentists are over here like <laughs> with the stack of money like just counting it and whistling kids is also getting unhealthy this is literally the worst holiday on planet earth but it just happened to be my favorite one as i was a kid no positives to this except for a little bit of temporary enjoyment for the kids and that's about it that's about it and then when all the candy is gone within the first three days you're e you're either sick or you have cavities you're sick you're throwing up all the candy because you overate you know your, your your sugar high is out and then or you got cavities you got to go to the dentist i mean there's there's nothing really good from halloween apart from dressing up this is the second phase of this video dressing up This is me comically tapping my foot because I'm about to say some real shit. Now that we've gotten past that part, because I mean, a lot of people are aware, including me, that Halloween is going out of fashion, but Halloween is never going to leave. You know why? Because Halloween has transformed from a kid thing to a young adult thing. What do I mean by this? Halloween used to be a couple of gr a group of kids going up to doors and getting candy. Now Halloween is seeing if Harley Quinn can take Joker the Batman and Superman all at the same time. If you know what I mean. Halloween parties. <laughs> this is where we're getting. Halloween is an easy way for people to cheat and have fun and drink and dress up. Okay. That's the only reason that Halloween is still like, you know what I'm saying? You got all sorts of different types of characters hitting the hawk to us, bro. And you will never be able to know that your girl is getting your girl is dressed up as Princess Peach 
Bowser, Mario, and all and Luigi is running a train, and Toad is in the back recording it to post it on OnlyFans later. It's crazy. That's what that's what Halloween has turned into. So we've uh, addressed the origins of Halloween. We've addressed the dangers of Halloween. We've addressed what Halloween has been transformed into. Okay, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I don't, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that hand movement. I mean, I guess, I mean, it makes sense because that's what Halloween is. Um, and with all of this being said, let me know what your thoughts on Halloween is. Me personally, I still like it because of the dressing up, because people get to dress up as something. Um, I feel like furries low-key evolved from Halloween. Now that I think about it, that's probably what ended up happening. Somebody was uh, in a fur suit that they made for Halloween or went to a convention. And they were all like, I like this a little too much. I'm just going to transform into it. Let me get into uh, the end of the video here. With all that being said, let me know what you think about Halloween. And please remember, don't get pissed off. This is only my soul opinion. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.